In this video, we're going to be going through how they like to ask questions on stem and leaf diagrams. And below, I have extracted from past papers all the times that they have, have asked you to draw a stem and leaf diagram. So you have those and the paper they're extracted from, and then the answers as well. So you go through that, you do these questions, and you get a great understanding of how they ask on stem and leaf diagrams. Okay, so let's do a question on stem and leaf diagrams. We have the following is the maximum daily wind speeds in kilometers per hour for the first two weeks in April for two towns, Bronley and Rogate. Um, and it wants us to draw a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram to represent this information. Five marks, wow. That's a lot of marks, and this is pretty simple to do. So you just, first of all, you do your stem, which is, you, how you're going to group your data. So you're going to group it in the zeros, the, the single digits, then the tens, the twenties, the thirties, and the forties. Forty-five is the highest. So we're just going up to the forties. And then you can put your two towns on either side. So let's put row gate here and put Bronley. What a name there. So yeah, I might put that a bit higher. Bronley and Rogate, and then you can just write down the information. So let's do Rogate first. Well, for the single digits, we have four, five, four, five, seven, and seven. Yep, that's it. So we got four, five, seven, seven. And then we can do the tens where we have. 10, 11, 13, 15, so that's 0, 1, 3, 5, 6, so we have 0, 1, 3, 5, 6, and then we also have 18 there, so that's there, and then we've got 3, 3, 6 for the 20s, so 23, 26, 26, and you know, if you know how to do this, you can just skip this part and move on. But I figured I'll go through it. And then we've got the 34. So we should have 14 data points here for the 2 weeks. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now we can do Bronley. So we've got 3, 6. That's it for those. So we have 3, 3, and 6. And then for the teens, we have. 13, 14, 17, which is 3, 4, 7, 3, 4, and 7. And it's good to just take your time with the stuff because this is basically free marks. Uh, then for the 20s, we have 1, 21, 22, 4, 5. So that's 1, 2, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4, and 5. And we also have 27 and 28. So we can knock those off, 27 and 28. And then two, three, so we have 32 and 33, and then 45 at the end. Cool, so that's all that data. And then you need to write a key here to tell tell your readers of the data what, what this actually means. Or you can pick something, let's say, I don't know, we'll pick this one, two, here, we'll put this one, two, three. And you can say this means that the wind speed for Bronley is, well, this would mean 21, 21 kilometers per hour. And then, you know, for, and we could say, and for um, Rogate is 23 kilometers per hour. So you just do a little description there. And 21 for uh, Bronley and 23 for Rogate. Cool, so that's that done. Five marks there. So that was I. Let's do II. And it says it wants you to write down the medium for the maximum wind speeds of Bronley. So we want the medium of B. And it also wants the interquartile range for Rogate. So, well, the medium of B, if there's 14 data points, well, we can count seven in to get the middle. And remember, these are in order, so we can count it. So we've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's our seven value there. And we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So between these two values is the medium value you have seven on one side and seven on the other so in between that in between 22 and 24 is 23 so your median value 
is 23 kilometers per hour. And then you want your interquartile range for um, rho gate. Well, that's going to be your upper quartile for rho gate minus your lower quartile for rho gate. Well, again, we have 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the medium is between these two. So it's here. That means that if you want the lower quartile, you need to find the medium of this lower 7. So we have, you know, we can count 1, 2, 3. Well, this will be because there's 3 on either side. So that's the uh, lower quartile, and then 1, 2, 3, and this is the upper quartile. 1, 2, 3. That's the upper quartile. So that's 23 minus 7. So that's um, 16 kilometers per hour. So that's the interquartile range. And then finally, what I want you to do is use your diagram to make one comparison between the maximum speeds of the two towns. Well, if you look at this here, you can see clearly that Bronle has higher maximum wind speeds. So you could say that because you know you can see like you've got a lot of cluster of data points on the higher end, whereas this has a cluster of uh, data points on the lower end for row gate. So there's a skew to either of these data. Okay, so you could say that Bronle has higher wind speeds than. Um, Rogate. Or a more flippant way to say it would be, I don't know, Bronle is wind, you know, I don't know, is more windy, windy than Rogate. Okay, so that's a good example there. Um, so go ahead, download the worksheet, and go through all of these questions from past uh, exam papers on the stem and leaf diagram, and you'll understand exactly how they like to ask on it. But that is it from me. Uh, please hit that like button for me, and you know consider subscribing. It, it might actually change your whole trajectory of your educational career. But um, anyway, I will see you in the next video.